Hey everyone, this video we're going to draw some rectangles and some circles and some rounded corners. It's very exciting. Let's jump in. All right, let's first of all put in our kind of product shot. We're going to put in a placeholder image for that. Okay, I'm going to use my selection tool, just click and drag over a bunch of them. Okay, and then I can drag it down. So I've got a bit of space. Okay, let's grab the rectangle tool. It's one of those ones that you'll probably learn the shortcut for. And they're all hiding in here. See rectangle, lines, all the kind of basic shapes. Okay, so R's for the rectangle tool, which makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to click hold and drag it out and you get the big gray box. And you'll notice our text disappeared. Okay, so this brings us to layering. Okay, so over here, if you can't see it, you might be on assets, go to layers, you'll see there's my home page frame. Okay, and inside of that are all these different things. Okay, all the different texts we've added. Now we've got a rectangle, but it's on top. So we can do a couple of things, right click and say, send to the back please. And it's just that shortcut. You'll learn that one quite a bit as well. Learn the different shortcuts at your level. You might be ready for shortcuts, you might be not, you might be freaking out. <laughs> so just right click and say, actually send to the back. Or I want you to practice, I've undone that. Can you see here, I can drag this, kind of like more like Photoshop. I'm holding it, holding it, dragging it. Now it's at the bottom of all those guys and I can see it, easy. I'm going to undo it and show you just one more painful way, mainly because there is a ton of ways of doing everything in Figma. Okay, and I'm going to show you the way that I think makes most sense for your level and what's really common and useful. But if you find a different way and you're like, hey, why didn't he show us that way? That's heaps better. Okay, if you find it and you like it, you can do it. Okay, but let's say this one here. So this little Figma menu here. If you're on a Mac, you've got this top bit along the top here, which is exactly the same as edit. Where is it? Uh, Arrange, you can see how, <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to arrange. Object, there it is there. You can see how much I use this menu, not very often. Okay, so you can, on a Mac, you'll see these on the top and they will correspond. See, file, there's file, edit, there's edit. So often I use these ones along the top here, but I know if you're using the browser version, these aren't there. On a PC, these aren't there. These are exactly the same. So I'll try to remember through this course that I'm gonna to go to object center backwards, okay? But you might find in this course that Dan's going up to arrange up the top here and you're like, hey, I don't have that. There it is there, look. Okay, so I'm going to go object, center back. Yeah, loads of ways of doing the same thing. Let's kind of get that in the middle there. You'll notice that a Figma is just really naturally wanting to go to the center of things, center of boxes, center of artboards, just drag it around. You don't have to do a lot. There are the full on arranges along the top here, kind of, you know, arrange center, arrange to the left but often just dragging it around does perfectly well. All right, let's do our buttons down the bottom here. So I'm gonna zoom in, Command plus or Control plus on a PC, and I'm gonna hold my spacebar key down and click and drag. Okay, R for the rectangle tool, or just go up there, drag it around. We know that it is on top. You can drag it over here. What's the shortcut? It's a test, okay? What's the shortcut to go all the way to the back? It's that square bracket next to P on your keyboard. There it is, down, up is the other one, down, up, down. Cool, so I've got that, button, I'm going to hold down my option key and drag out another one. You might have to resize this. Okay, I want to move on to rounded corners because when I said do not, whatever you do, don't design this thing, okay? Uh, it's hard because you're like, I want rounded corners. <laughs> you're not the boss of me, Dan. I'm going to make some little design choices. Okay, so with the rectangle selected, you, you might notice these little dots. If you don't see these little dots, if I zoom right out, minus, you see they go away. So those little dots in the corners help with rounded corners. If you can't see them, just keep zooming in. Look, still can't see them. Oh, are they there? Yeah, they're there. <laughs> zoom out. There's a level. You yeah, look there. They're not there. Zoom one more in. I can grab them and drag them. Okay, and you're like, mm, there you go. Nice rounded corners. Um, you can do it. I'm going to go zoom all the way out to 100%. The shortcut is, where is it? So this is the long way, 100%. See this? Shift. That little arrow key is shift. <laughs> I was like, what is that one? Especially on a Mac, I'm like, what the hang is that guy? <laughs> I have to look at my keyboard. Luckily, it's written on it. You think I'd know. Uh, but so shift zero, okay, on the top there goes to 100% because that's a, probably a better place to be designing around the corners because you're like, that's the way it's going to look. So if I'm doing it here, I can actually just do it here in my kind of property inspector here, this right panel. And I can say, actually, let's try it add, use my arrow keys. Remember the sweet shortcut up one? Oh, how does it look? Up another one? Smashing it up, down. Okay, so I'm going to just put in some round of corners, five. Um, it's handy because you can get consistency. Select this other one, go five. Click on this one. They're all going to have five rounded corners. Look at that. Because we are doing rounded corners, it's not appropriate right now, but if I click on this, zoom in enough so I can see this radius, you can actually uh, hold down the option key on a Mac, 
Alt key on a PC and actually just click one of them and go look at that. Undo it because we don't need it right now. But you probably had that question like, can I do one by itself? You can just hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, okay, and click it and drag it. There we go. And before we go, let's add our little circle down the bottom here. So the circle tool, it, the ellipse is the O. Okay, I'm going to drag it out. Another thing that I haven't quite covered yet, if you want it to be completely um, circular or square, okay, you hold down the shift key while you're dragging. So watch this. I'm going to go back to my circle tool. And before I start dragging, hold down the shift key, drag it out, and you can see, perfect circle. If I let go of it, ellipse, okay, or oval. Back to holding shift, I'm going to get about that. And for the moment, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to grab my type tool, okay, and click once, and I'm going to hit my plus, and I'm going to pick an appropriate font size. Now with type, okay, I want to move it, and it's just going to kind of select it. So click off in the background, and then kind of just drag it to where you want. Font size, in here I'm using my up arrow to get it to a kind of a size that I want. Bold's kind of weird for that. There we go. All right, that is going to be good enough for this video. Circles, exciting. Rectangles, ooh. One little bonus thing for circles. <laughs> I was going to do this later, but look at this. See the circle? What's that thing do? You probably already dragged it. You ready? Mm, num, 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 num. <laughs> Absolutely useless. Never used it. I, I can see. I'm like, yeah, that does a bar graph. And I have not mocked up a bar graph before. So, uh, sorry, pie chart is what I want. Okay, so you can. That's what that thing does. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get on to the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up -y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.